Hi everyone, welcome back to Gage Hill Crafts. I'm Sarah Scully and today I'm trying something a little bit different. It's such a beautiful day I thought I'd bring the camera outside so we're sitting in the garden. Um, thanks for joining me and I have an update on the Tour de Fleece. Um, this is a project that has been going on for the last three weeks or so during the Tour de France. Um, it's an event that happens every year in the fiber arts world but it's my first time having participated. Um, so if you watched the previous episode on the Tour de Fleece that I posted, you'll know that I joined Team Ackerworks, and um, the Ackerworks company makes beautiful bobbins for spinning wheels, as well as some other tools for knitters and spinners. Um, and it was a real pleasure to join their, their open team. They're very generous. You don't have to use their um, items to, to participate. Um, but they had a great group. It was well moderated. Uh, I saw a lot of posts from my fellow teammates. Hi, everybody. Um, people uh, spun some beautiful yarns. And um, I uh, made my Tour de Fleece goal. I spun this beautiful brown Shetland yarn. Um, this is just one skein. I have posted some pictures on Instagram you might have seen, and I'll, I'll show some more here. Um, but I ended up spinning about a pound and a half of this uh, Shetland yarn. It's from a friend of mine um, who lives just over the hill from me. And um, I'm really impressed uh, with myself, actually. Um, I still consider myself a beginning spinner, maybe beginner plus at this point, um, but didn't have a ton of experience going in. I just, you know, I knew I wanted to get through this fleece that I had had in my stash for a while. And so I set that as my goal, is just to finish this project off. Um, the Tour de Fleece was a great motivator, even though I didn't uh, manage to spend every single day. I um, got enough done in, in fits and starts to get through that quantity, and I got it all plied, got it all washed up. Um, I did that yesterday and dried it out on the porch. Um, and I'm super pleased with the outcome. Um, and plan to make a what I'm calling a house sweater for myself just a basic raglan sweater that I can wear around the house uh, when it's cold in the winter time and we have the heat turned down um, and like I said the community around the Tour de Fleece was a really big factor in uh, my participation and I think my success you guys um, you know through watching your own posts and your own progress that was motivating um, you guys were really sweet to kind of cheer me on so um, so thank you thank you very much and whether you participated this year or not um, mark your calendars for 2019 for July and you can jump in on the next round of Tour de Fleece like I said it's free it's open there's all kinds of teams that you could join um, depending on your interest or what you saw set for a goal um, the kinds of fibers that you like to spin that sort of thing so yay um, I will also say that uh, I have been working on some knitwear designs um, and I just wanted to let the YouTube audience know about those if you don't follow us on Instagram we're at Gage Hill Crafts and I've been posting a few sneak peek uh, photos there periodically but there's three or four patterns that I really hope to release this fall and I'm working hard on those so um, stay tuned for that. I hope your own summer of knitting and spinning and other uh, crafts has been really going well. Let us know in the comments on this video what you've been up to, what you've been able to accomplish recently, or uh, what goals you have for the summer. And um, we'll, we'll stay tuned and we'll see what happens. I'm hoping to do some more dyeing as well. Um, the, the days are already starting to get a little bit shorter, so we'll see what happens with that. But I'd love to do some more natural dyeing and uh, share that with you as well. Thanks again for tuning in. Good luck with all your summer projects and um, enjoy yourself. Thanks a lot. Cheers.